Well, what's up everybody? Boba here, coming at you guys with a new video today. And today, we are gonna be doing a mouse review. And we are gonna be talking about the Rocat Kane 200 Amo. But first, we gotta hit that intro real quick. All right, guys, welcome. Hope everyone is doing well back here in the review table. And today we're gonna be talking about a mouse and not just any mouse, but the Ro the Rocket Kane 200 Amo. Now, I've actually never owned a Rocket mouse. Um, I actually just saw this at Best Buy and I really wanna do a review on a kind of like a different, not so mainstream mouse. And I found that Rocket is not like the most popular company out there, though they should be definitely a big player in the industry because they make really high quality peripherals for gaming. So today we're gonna be talking about the uh, Rocket Kane 200 wireless gaming mouse and we're gonna unbox this bad boy real quick. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. While I unbox this, I'll talk a little bit about Rocket. So Rocket is a gaming peripheral company based out of Germany. Um, again, I've never purchased a Rocket product in my life. Uh, I generally stuck to the big companies. Um, but I was excited to get this mouse. I wanted another wireless mouse around for, you know, my other PCs and stuff to use. So I figured, why not check this thing out? I also got another review of another product from Rocket that I'm going to do here in the next few days. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, so in the box, you get... Wow, very nicely packaged, so A plus on that. I, I like the way they did the uh, the directions there. That's pretty cool. Okay. Rocket Kane 200 AMO is using the PixArt 335 optical sensor, which is a top tier uh, eSports sensor. It is, the dimensions of this are height is 4.3 centimeters, the width is 6.5 centimeters, and the length is around 12.4 centimeters. This is a ergonomic right-handed mouse, so not an ambi mouse, and it weighs about 105 grams, so this is definitely on the heavy side of gaming mice and probably a little bit too heavy for me, but I don't think that's a killer for a lot of people. 105 grams is not too ridiculous, um, but we are going to test this out in a couple games, so uh, I will let you guys know how I feel about the weight because I'm a little picky about my weight on my, especially after using the G Pro Wireless. So in the box, you get the mouse. You get the wireless receiver, which is pretty much your standard wireless receiver running on the 2.4 gigahertz band from what I remember. You get a reasonably long charging cable uh, you get a braided charging cable so that's nice with a USB a plug and a USB it looks like micro USB um, into the mouse so very cool there so that's pretty much all you get oh looks like you also get one of those dongle dongle things that make it easier to charge at your desk and actually I really like this one compared to Logitech's little dongle for charging because uh, this one actually has a textured bottom so you could and it's heavy so like you could put it on your desk and it's not going anywhere so that's actually really cool so that's a plus for the rocket there and it looks like that's pretty much what comes in the box there so rocket says this is the, what they call the al i optical sensor um really it is a pixar pmw 3335 uh optical gaming sensor which is a top this is definitely a top tier uh esports optical sensor um, right off the bat, just feeling it, it has a good feeling. Um, this is a big mouse, and I have actually very big hands, and I'm a palm gripper. So, and this mouse is actually a little bit big even for me. I don't know how well I would be able to use this, but I'm so used to using the uh, G Pro Wireless here. Okay. It has this very nice uh, matte rubber on the mouse itself. We will get some good B-roll for you guys here in a minute um, you've got two side buttons your standard two side buttons you have isolated re left and right clicks buttons so you're not it's not one piece they're all different pieces so that's very nice here's how the mouse sounds it 
It has a interesting brushed, almost aluminum right down the middle where the center mouse is. Um, you have a DPI button on the front here, which, you know, I am not a big fan of at all. I hate DPI buttons on the top of a mouse, but I'm sure with the software you can actually deactivate that. Um, and it is a hefty mouse, I gotta be honest with you. This is not a lightweight mouse by any stretch of the imagination here. This is a hefty mouse, and it is a big mouse. Definitely something I would have been into in my earlier days in Counter-Strike. Interesting. So first impressions is it's pretty good. It has a, looks like mouse skates on the, around the sensor, one big one in the back and two standard ones in the front like so. So that's how the bottom looks there. Um, yeah. It does have RGB, so, you know, it's gonna make you better at gaming. I mean, RGB always makes everybody better at gaming. And then, yeah, so going through the specs here, it comes right out of the box with a thousand hertz pulling rate. It is wireless. It can be played while it's wired. So if you look here, um, when we slide the um, charger in there, it is off the bottom of the mouse. So this thing can be used wired. They are using Omron switches for the mouse left and right. So I'm not sure which Omron switches they are, but it looks like they are using Omron's. And again, the height is 4.3 centimeters. The width is 6.5 centimeters. The length is 12.4. So this is a big mouse and 105 grams right out of the box. All right, so first impressions is this is a very well-built mouse. A little bit on the heavy side, a little bit on the big side. But other than that, I mean, there is no, there is no cheapness in this mouse whatsoever. This is definitely a good quality mouse. And it better be for $100, because this is not a cheap mouse by any stretch of the imagination. Very well built. So, we've talked about the build, we've unboxed it, we've talked a little bit about the specs of the mouse. Really, we can keep talking about it, or we can bring it right over there to the table. So, let's go ahead and bring it over to the gaming table. Let's put this thing through its paces. All right, everybody, Boba here. This is a look at the Rocket Swarm software for the K the Kane 2000 or uh, the Kane 200 Amo mouse here. Um, Amo actually is just this uh, the fancy word for their RGB, just so you guys are aware. So it looks like in their software they have pretty much everything every other gaming software has out there. Um, definitely some really good tuning stuff. I really like that they give you you know your pulling rate, angle snapping, um, you get debounce, distance control. You know, very very cool. You can turn off illumination. Apparently, you can turn off the sensor. Um, very cool. You, you, this software really allows you to keep, uh, control the mouse exactly how you want it, get it dialed into exactly how you want it. I have already turned off all my other DPIs other than 800, which is what my standard DPI that I always use for all my FPS games. Um, but again, you can change your speed of your scroll wheel, your horizontal tilt speed, your double click speed, and Windows pointer speed. Um, you can go into illumination, you can completely adjust the way your, um, lights work in your mouse. You have different profiles you can set. I just made a simple one called Gamer1 because I'm a gamer. Uh, you have a macro manager, so you can, with a bunch of preloaded macro game type stuff for a bunch of different games, um, so you can set up macros. Uh, so pretty good software, pretty straightforward, very easy to install. Uh, there was kind of an annoying uh, install I had to do on the mouse where it had a, it had a pretty decent firmware update size kind of annoying other than that it was perfectly fine the software is very snappy works very well uh, no issues no crashes you like I said you can completely tune your mouse to exactly how you want it so yeah the ro rocket swarm um, software for the Kane 200 
made by uh, Rocket. So anyways, we are going to hop back over to the review table, and I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on this mouse. All right, everybody, Boba back over here at the review table, and I just want to say in my closing thoughts on the Hit Kane 200 mouse, um, this thing is awesome. Uh, I really thought the weight of the mouse was really going to bug me. It absolutely did not bug me at all while playing Counter-Strike. My flicks on the op were really good. Uh, my aim on the AK were really good. I could spray with it. I could do pretty much whatever I wanted in the game with this. Had no issues whatsoever. Absolutely love the texturing of the mouse. Love the design of the mouse. It really reminds me of the Steel Series Rival mouse. So keep that in mind. If you've ever used a Steel Series Rival, this kind of has a Steel Series Rival feel, in my opinion. Um, snappy, great, very high quality, very well built. Nothing bad to say about this mouse, other than it's it's big. It's a big mouse. So if you um, are used to using more small mice, and maybe you're you're used to using er um, ambidextrous mice, you probably won't like this. And this might take a little while to get used to. But I played a lot of Counter-Strike in my life, and I took to this mouse like it was nothing. No issues whatsoever. No problem that it's not ambidextrous. No problem that it's a big mouse. Again, I have really big hands, and I palm grip, so big mice aren't a, really a big issue for me at all. See what I did there. Um, but other than that, I love this thing, and it's a. this is a, a definite buy. If you're looking for a good my, a good. FPS or optical mouse it performs performs very well performed really well in counter-strike I didn't get a chance to use it on call of duty because I had a big update and it was Like a really big update like usual because apparently every call of duty updates like a million gigs, but whatever um, But I did use it on counter-strike which is my go-to game for testing FPS mice because that game is you know definitely requires um, good hand-eye coordination, so and to answer everyone's question yes this mouse performs very well in Among Us. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. This is the Boba, and this is my thoughts and review and unboxing of the Rocket Kane 200. I will have a link in the description that is a non-affiliate link to purchase this mouse. It's currently $99 at Best Buy and maybe Amazon or wherever else they sell it. Um, the reason I don't have Amazon affiliate links anymore, if you guys are wondering real quick, Amazon revoked my affiliate status because I do not have enough subscribers. That's according to what they sent me in the email. So once I have more subscribers and I can show Amazon that I'm, you know, not so little, I guess, even though I've been growing very well and I've done pretty good with the affiliate program on their site, um, I will reapply to their affiliate program. So I thank you guys for your support and thanks for watching this video. If you like this video and you like this type of content, Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time, and I'm Boba.